Hi everyone, this is V Naidu, MSC Physics. Today our topic is introduction about central forces. First, what is the definition of central force? Central force is a force which is acts on a particle towards or away from a fixed point. Let us take a Cartesian coordinate system. Here, O is our fixed point. O is our fixed point. Now, we take it as a point object here. At point P, we take it as a point object. This point object at a distance R from center O. Now, we applied an external force on this object towards R away from the fixed point. Then, that force is called as central force. Are you understand? Enda mekar manu maatla adta na? Oni manu fixed point ke enda tees koani. Oni nchi R distance la oonna vaka point object pae manu apply chosthu na force ane edhi O wipe gaani, Oni nchi bite wipe gaani unna atla ite. Atvent forces na manu enchi apta na saara ande central force asanta. The central force, the magnitude of central force depends upon function of R and in the direction of R. Our central force mathematically represented by F bar equal to F of R into R cap. Here F bar represents central force. F of R is the magnitude of central force in the terms of R, in the function of R and R cap is the direction of central force. Now, what are the examples of central force? The best example is gravitational force. Gravitational force is nothing but the force exists between sun and earth. Let us, let us see. This is our sun. Now, our earth revolves around the sun in which orbit? Elliptical orbit. This is our earth. The mass of the sun, let us say m1. And the mass of the earth, let us say m2. The distance between sun and earth, let us say r. Now, the force is directly proportional to product of these two masses. The force is inversely proportional to square of the distance between them. Then, the force is directly proportional to m1 m2 by r square now we remove proportionality we put some constant that constant is called as gravitational constant in the vector formation f bar equal to minus g m1 m2 by r square into r cap here minus represents attractive force Attractive force is nothing but here in between exists a centripetal force. The centripetal force always acts toward the sun only. Ekada, irendimadiya force am exists out in that centripetal force. A centripetal force towards, ipudu kodi it vibes are act out in that sun. Sun means central force. Sun means sorry. Sun means a fixed point vibe ne the ipudu act out in that. Mikhail already jepano fixed point vibe gani fixed point ninge bite vibe gani arpar tarvand forces ne even jepta central forces. Mere kada arpar thunna centripetal force ipudu ko date vibe ne na panjast in that towards the center towards the sun. That's why gravitational force is gravitational force is one of the best example of central force. Now we compare this equation with f bar equal to f of r into r cap then what we get f of r equal to f of r equal to what we get here minus g m1 m2 by r square g constant m1 also constant m2 also constant then we take it as f of r equal to let us say constant c minus c by r square f of r is directly proportional to 1 by r square that means the magnitude of central force depends upon only function of r. R and r distance alone manakopudukoda magnitude and the depend I untunde and chapadanaki is okay example. And another one is electrostatic force. Electrostatic force is nothing but a coulombic repulsive force or attractive force. Let us take Q1 charge here and now we take it as another charge. Q2. 
this is positive charge this is negative charge the distance between these two charges let us say r then here which force existed here coulombic coulombic attractive force what happens here how a bar equal to f sorry a bar is directly proportional to product of these two charges force is directly proportional to square of inversely proportional to square of the distance between them then f is directly proportional to q1 q2 by r square now we remove proportionality we put some constant f equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square in the formation of vector then we get f bar equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon q1 q2 by r square into r cap this is the one of the best example of central force uh, it will be compared with f bar equal to f of r into r cap then what we get f of r value 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r square here 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught constant q1 q2 constant then what we get here f of r is directly proportional to 1 by r square again our central force magnitude depends upon only function of r only this is electro this electrostatic force also one of the best example of central force another one is elastic force let us take a spring one end is connected, one end is fixed and another one is uh, connecting with the uh, MOS object. Now, the MOS object moves up and uh, downward about its uh, main position. That means uh, this is our center, upward moving and uh, downward moving. That means what happens here? Central force existed here. Um, this central force is directly proportional to minus x then f equal to we get uh, minus uh, kx this is also one of the best example of uh, central forces finally what are the examples of central forces gravitational force electrostatic force and uh, elastic force gravitational force best example in the the force exists between sun and uh, earth electrostatic force best example ends are in the, Coulombic repulsive force or Coulombic attractive force. Elastic force best example ends are into simple harmonic motion. Simple harmonic motion and to and fro motion about its main position. To and fro about mean position put on center point at this corner. A pole of force exists, a pole and act out on the lady and ma don't only act out on the at one forces and money in Japan surrender center forces and okay. And this is the uh, brief introduction about uh, examples of uh, central forces now what are the characteristics what are the main features of central force this is the uh, most important points most important topic uh, central forces law important topic came in under the answer and main features we can be just gonna man remaining classes and a model are the one to and the first one to run central force can be represented by a bar equal to f of r into r cap you know already here if f of r is less than zero less than zero means positive or negative definitely uh, less than zero means it is negative negative means our central force is attractive force central force same force na na attractive always okay then positive can the construct chain if it was done values and base just gonna positive key then you can compare change to positive negative some of the people who are a force around to net a attractive force if f of r is greater than zero that means it is positive then our central force is repulsive force clear first uh, first characteristic under okay nama end ma f of r less than zero then our central force is attractive if f of r greater than zero our central force is repulsive force and another one is central force is conservative conservative ee padam correct ga teliyalandi conservative ante em sir ante oka physical quantity ni manam teeskune tappudu initial ga a quantity manam maatladi final ga quantity ni manam maatladithe rendu kuda equal ainatlaithe atuvanti quantities ni manam em cheptam ante conservative antam simple ga cheppalante lhs equal to rhs antaru lata initial equal to final ani maatladatam lata total value 
constant ga undali change in value em ayipol sir ante zero ila different different ga ela ye vidhanga maatladanu kuda aa quantities mane em cheptam sir ante conservative antam sir mari ikkada central force ye vidhanga sir conservative ye vidhanga sir cheppagalugutam ante general ga oka object pai man force apply chese tappudu idi displace avuthu unte akkada em jarigindi sir antam ante some work will be done here ओके नी दट वर्क डन ईज इंडिपेडेंट आफ पाथ फाइट्स आर् इंडिपेडेंट आफ पाथ फाट सी दिस् वन दिस्ज वन पॉइंट अंड दिस्ज अनदर पॉइंट ना वो यू गो गो फ्रम दिश पॉइंट दिस् पॉइंट गोइंग लाइक दिश दिश पाथ अंड सैकंड क्लास वी गोइंग फ्रम दिश दिश पॉइंट दिश पाथ गोइंग लाइक दिश पाइंट डिफरेंट पाथ मन ये पात को ट्रावल फैनल वर्क डन अनेक्वल उ वर्क डन अने ये पात पर मन को अवसर अगर वर्क जरिंदा लेदा वर्क अनेक्वल अदा अने विषयानी चपे मन चलते दें अवर् सेंट्रल फोर्स इज कंजर्वेट क्लियर अंड थर्ड वि एक्सप्लेन कंप्लीटली इन द नैक्स्ट क्लास नौ थर्ड थर्ड वन ईज अंडर सेंट्रल फोर्स द टार ऐक्टिंग आ पार्टिकल ईज जीरो How is it? How is it possible, sir? You know already tau bar equal to r bar cross a bar. That means mod r mod f into sine theta. Here theta represents the angle between r and f. Let us see this diagram. This is r. This is f. First suppose our central force acting away from the fixed point. Then R and F both are moving in same direction. That's why theta equal to zero degrees. R now our central force acting towards the center. Then R and F angle in between one eighty degrees. Cos sine zero we get zero. Sine one eighty we get zero. That means. tau bar equal to sin 0 sir 0 sin 180 also 0 then 0 into anything is 0 then tau equal to 0 that's why under center of force the the torque acting on the particle is 0 and next one is under center of force the angular momentum is conserved we know already tau bar equal to dl bar by dt this is the equation of motion of rigid body equation of motion of rigid body man e vidhanga sir represent chestha ante tau equal to i alpha or tau equal to dl bar by dt you know tau equal to 0 then dl bar by dt equal to 0 now we integrating both sides then l equal to integrate chestha derivative anedi cancel ayipothundamma integral zero value ent sir vastundante constant that's why under central force the angular momentum is conserved that means l equal to constant and the last one is under central force the aerial velocity of the particle remains constant aerial velocity it can represented by da by dt it is also constant i will explain this is in the kepler's second law okay kepler law cheppetappudu deni gurinchi nenu poorthiga explain cheyadam anedi jarugutundi this is introduction about central forces clear thank you